He missed right now. Are right, you motherfucker? You want to play this game? You want to play this game? Okay. Okay, man. I will fucking I'll, I'll tear you up like Tony Montana right now. Everybody, welcome back, Falcon, the old scavenger. The conclusion of the dogman who hunts at night. It you know looks for people who are you know vulnerable, sleeping to be a total tough man. So, um, you motherfucker, we're gonna have to have a little powwow here. Let me switch over to my broad spear staff first and foremost. Let me um, sneak towards you because you're gonna find me either way. Dogman leader, is he asleep? Why is he asleep? Should I just run away? No, you know what? Fuck this guy's pestered me long enough. He's still sleeping. Interesting. Alrighty, well, let's keep sneaking towards him. Oh, dude, maybe I could just, like, stab him in the head while he's asleep. He's still sleeping. He has no idea I'm here. Okay, this is pretty fucking badass. Can I sneak over him to him again? Oh, no! No, he woke up! He woke up! He's still on the floor, though. Uh, melee surge. Dogman rolls from player. Oh, you asshole. You had one shot, and you missed it. Hey, so that's a get up though, right? So, um, melee surge him again. Oh! Oh no. No, 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 no. You asshole, you. Oh, we're fucked right now. Get up, man. Oh, he's gonna try to flurry attack me, but he missed. Okay, so, um, he's gonna be vulnerable because he flurried, so let me try to stab him. Uh, player attacks Dogman and hits. Player tore open Dogman's lower right arm with a broad spear stab. Dogman is stunned and unable to move for a moment. Dogman is bleeding. Okay. So, um, he had to, um, recover from that surge. I'm thinking what we do is, do I really want to headbutt a fucking dogman? Dude, it's fucking crazy. This guy's hardcore. Let's try to dodge. He might attack me right now. He didn't do anything. It's probably because he was, um, still stunned. So that was a foolish uh, decision on my part. I should have just attacked him again. Let's, uh, try to fall back one. He attacked me, but he missed, and I fell back. Perfect. We have range on him, so let's try to melee him. Player, uh, player tore open Dogman's lower left arm with a broad spear stab. Dogman is stunned and able to move for a moment. It is now dusk. Dogman is bleeding. He's fallen as well. Okay, he apparently lost his footing. We're one away from him, so you know what? Let's melee attack him again. Da, player gashed Dogman's lower right arm with a broad spear stab. Dogman's right arm has been crippled. Dogman is bleeding. That's really good. We took out one of his weapons already. And uh, since he's on the floor, I can just kick him if I wanted to. But instead, let me just melee him again. Uh, player shredded Dogman's upper left arm with a broad spear stab. Dogman's left arm has been crippled. Dogman is in severe pain. Is having <gasps> Both his arms are crippled. He can't fight me anymore, can he? I mean, logically speaking, I mean, he could probably use his hind legs, but that seems highly unlikely now, doesn't it? Uh, let me melee attack him again. What is he trying to do? Dogman is cuffing out blood. He's unconscious. Dogman is exposed. Oh, he's done. He's done, Ski. Let's kick him in the head again. Oh, yeah, he's done. Advance. Finish it off. <laughs> All righty, motherfucker. Oh, Lord. Has died of a severe traumatic brain injury. That's a good hit, man. If you're going to hit somebody to kill him, you hit him in the head. So, let me go to my inventory here. Oh, Lord, look at this. Just a dogman corpse in front of me. I'm going to cook him and cure him and saute him and, you know, masquerade him and grill him. And I'm pretty sure masquerade isn't a form of eating, but still. Um, it worked out, and I'm happy about it. So, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm, that's really good. That was a good fight. I don't think I took any damage, did I? No. Alrighty. This is what happens when we actually read the combat um, log and see what's going on. So, now that we've done this, let's go into the crafting menu here. Alright, you motherfucker. You are gonna be the most delicious meal of all time right now. Um, We're gonna start off by obviously tossing your body in there. We'll use some trapping and we'll use... Might as well just use the shard, right? And boom, confirm the sound. What else can I do with you? Oh, I could... Small chunk of fur. What would the fur be used for? Interesting. I mean, I don't necessarily need another fur coat. I already have one, right? And mine is in... 98? Oh yeah, mine is in decent condition. You know what? Just because I'm not sure what it's for, let's use the uh, the fur one. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see what this does. So, you go there. And... You go... God damn it. Ketchup, stay away. I'll use you after we're done with the meat ketchup, alright? How about that? So, this will give me some fur. It doesn't really require trapping, so... Maybe it's to make your own Dogman fur coat in case you don't have the trapping skill? I'd love it if you could make some gloves. That'd be pretty sweet. So I'm gonna go with this one regardless of which. Clear it out. Alright. Um, Just because I'm curious about it, let's see if this does anything. Let's try to throw in all the Dogman fur in here. 
and, I don't know, some string, usually the good way to go about it. String, sling, medium thread. No, not much is happening. What if I was to use trapping or something? Out of curiosity, sling, medium thread, no, nothing's happening. So I'm not sure what the fur is for. Um, either way, again, I didn't really eat the fur coat. Mine is still in really immaculate condition anyway. So I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So what I'm going to do is get out of here. We'll come back. Now we need to start our fire. So small campfire. And then we'll stoke it. Bram stoke it, Dracula. It's the uh, new movie coming out. Wait for it uh, sometime in December. Throwing it out there right now. You heard it here first, Bram Stoker, or Bram Stoked, um, Dracula. So we have that going on. Now, what's it I'm trying to do? Oh, cure, right. So a handful of ash, uh, let's see, let's throw a big chunk in there, and throw fire in there. We're gonna need a stick to kind of, um, burn this bad boy down, good, and then... Nope, not the shoe. I'm not gonna eat the shoe just yet. It hasn't gone that bad. Two ashes is not going to do it, so probably four, huh? No. Oh, you know, is it, it's trapping that we need, right? It is trapping. I know this, you know, it's on my first rodeo. Trapping, there you go. Um, so this is cured, and this would take up maybe four of my things, or maybe it's just two, we'll see. So, yeah. Cured is what we want. Confirm it. Clear it. It only took two. Sweet. So you go over there, and then we'll cure one more. Clear, perfect. We're gonna have to break down the fire now to get some more ash. Clear this out. Go to net recipes, and we will do medium stoked one more time. Firm, clear. Go back over here, and uh, let's see. Where is the medium cured? I should have it here, right? Cured medium meat over campfire. Perfect. Clear, and decide what. Like, why do I keep losing this right there? Perfect. Clear. Now, we've done this. I could do a bit more, obviously. I need to break this down and get some more ash again. But for now, we have four pieces, which is, I think, pretty good. Remember, we still need... This is room for my trap, so we don't want to necessarily fill that up. I'm going to put this piece of meat there. That's fine. And this is for my bag. So if we want to take more of this meat, we have to kind of make room for it somewhere around here. How we do that? Well... I don't necessarily want to get rid of the tarps because I like to make my own portable shelter. Um, all of these um, rifle skulls that I have, they don't really take up too much place, I guess. But mechanical parts, I guess we could probably get rid of a few of them. We'll stick to one of those. And what do we have here? Yeah, we still have a few more up here. So I, I, I want to keep a few because I know it's going to be useful for once we start um, doing the making our own box cart. So that's the reason why I don't want to get rid of them. This small chunk of fur, I'm going to leave them behind at this point. I thought we could do something crazy with them, but you know what? Right now, it's more important to take the meat with us, so... Um... Let's just have you hang out there. I'm tired. I still need to get some rest, which is here, where I'm at right now. I need to get some rest. But, uh, I'm worried about leaving the meat out in the open. I feel like I might attract some <laughs> unwanted attention. Especially with dogmen around this area. So... Noise trap, noise trap. Uh, I guess we could probably start thinking about leaving this branch behind, and then we'll just put you here. Okay, and I'll have you. Now, this is going to make me kind of thirsty, obviously, because it is uh, cured and salted, but we could actually take care of that doing this and doing this. And my hunger's going to be up for quite a while, and uh, that's fine for now, I would say. Okay, so, everything here looks okay. What I'm going to do is now just destroy this, probably. Before we leave today, we'll probably just eat this. We'll see. More than likely we will, though. And that's the strap that I found here that I didn't really want. Okay. So, we go back to trying to sleep, right? I hope this meat doesn't attract any attention. <laughs> Would it? I don't think it should, but... I can never be too sure, so let's just try to sleep. Okay. Don't bite me in the ass, theory. What is that? Am I just tripping out? Uh, oh, no, 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 it's exactly as I was fearing, he's kicking me in the head, player's right arm was bruised, player's fallen to the ground and was regained footing to continue, it's both easy for attack at the moment, okay, um, shit, man, get up, dog man, last very player's lower right arm with a claw, oh, fuck, it's, he's like haunting me from beyond the grave or some shit, desperate retreat, um, I think we desperately try to retreat, 
That didn't really help. Um, I'm bleeding, though. Okay. Um, shit, man. All right, look here, dog, man. You need to relax for a second, okay? Retreat. Oh, God, I didn't work. He's running after me, too. Fall back. He tackled me. He's falling to the ground. He missed. Okay. He missed right now. Are right, you motherfucker. You want to play this game? You want to play this game? Okay. Okay, man. I will fucking... I'll, I'll tear you up like Tony Montana right now. Player tore open Dogman's upper left arm. Uh, Dogman's bleeding. I'm bleeding. Are right, we going to fight this out to the end? I think that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, why am I dizzy? Dude, stop being dizzy. Uh, it's not going to help us in the fight here. Coughing up blood, severe pain, and bleeding. Am I coughing up blood? No, he, he's probably a little bit worse for wear right now. Um, he got up just now, so I have to imagine he's probably trying to attack me, right? Could we try to parry him? Should we parry him? I think we should parry. Uh, sweet. That was a good parry. Let's create an obstacle here. He's falling to the ground. Thanks to the obstacle, so have I, though. Did he just tackle me? No, I just fell to the ground. Player tackles Dogman. Why would I tackle the Dogman myself? Um, get up. He's bleeding. He's falling. Alrighty. We're gonna just melee attack him now. Player's armor was barely affected. He tried to pull me down to the ground. I didn't hit him. Dogman has passed out from unbearable pain. That was a really weird turn of events here. Um, kill him. Hooey. Um, shit, man. What? Where's the dogman at? Um, excuse me? What just happened here? Was I fighting a ghost? Blind Dizzy? What? No, I mean, I still have fucking injuries. That wasn't a ghost. Minor bruising, minor pain. What the fuck just happened? I'm terrified of sleeping here now. I did kill that guy, right? Yeah, Dogman Leader has died of severe traumatic brain injury. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what the hell just went down. That, that meat, man, it's making me fucking sick in the head, apparently. <laughs> okay. I'm honestly, honestly right now, like, confused as to what just went down. I don't see a corpse here. I killed him. Alrighty. Um, I'm worried about sleeping here now. But do I really want to go out and venture a bit more? I don't think that's a good idea right now. Uh, we need to take care of my wound. So here's what we do. We, first and foremost, come up to... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Alrighty. Uh, rearrange this. Empty this out. We're going to use some alcohol on the wound. First and foremost, clear it out a little bit. Hopefully no infection. Player's wound stings with pain. Player's wound was disinfected with strong disinfectant. Yeah, you're telling me. Um, alrighty, so you could go back into your whiskey bottle. Thank you. Now we use the clean rag to patch up ourselves here. And all good. I guess I'll put that right there too. Alrighty, so um, do we risk and try to sleep? I mean, I guess we do, right? So, I mean, I'm well rested, but it's nighttime anyway. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. Please, no more dog, man. Please, no more dog, man. Player takes cover from another. <laughs> I'm being quiet because I'm really worried right now. Ah, uh, player's taking cover and it's hard to hit with weapons. Uh, what? Blind attack? No, no, just, uh... Blind retreat. Player has tripped. I don't even know what I'm fighting. I'm just so fucking paranoid about everything. Oh, fuck me! God damn it! God fucking damn it! Alrighty, um... Fuck. Stun, get up, man. Player's coughing up blood. He just, um, lacerated my chest. Okay, uh... Fuck. Me. We gotta run, don't we? Fall back. Players in severe pain having trouble concentrating. Oh, this is it, man. I'm coughing up blood. Yeah, this is it. It's over. Ditch vehicle. Players pass out from imbrial pain. It's over. Fuck! <laughs> Fucking dog, man. God damn it. Should I have, um, destroyed the meat? Is my real question right now. Yeah. I think I should have. I probably should have destroyed the meat and then gone to sleep. I'm pretty sure they were probably attracted to the smell. Who knows? I imagine that's what it was. Maybe it was a shirt. Maybe it was my three dog moon shirt the whole time. Maybe it literally means that every night time it sends three dog men after you. That's why it's called a three dog moon shirt. Fuck, man. That was terrible.
it sucks. I mean, we fought two of them off, right? I mean, the third one was just a little bit too much. And trying to get some sleep. He ambushed me. God damn it. That was good. That was a good run. I mean, I enjoyed it. And you know what? Next episode, we'll probably do a mod. So I feel a little bit comfortable with the game now. Again, this was kind of like just a run to kind of get me a little bit assimilated with the game once again. Because, you know, I'd taken a bit of time off from it. So I feel a little bit more better with it. So I'm thinking we'll check out a mod next um, episode. So I'll catch you guys then. Leave a like. Leave a thumbs up. The support means a lot for the series. And not only that, but the growth of the channel. I will catch you next time.